and good morning. Today we are going down to English Town, New Jersey. What's an English Town? Um, Formula Drift is in town, so we're going to be watching that. It's going to be actually the final day that they're down there for. I wanted to go for the other two days that they were there, but it, scheduling and whatnot, it just wasn't going to work out. But luckily I'm there for the day, the most important day. So this is going to be, you know, pass qualifiers, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be the actual races that count. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to go on there. There should be some awesome drifting going on. A lot of cool drift cars. A lot of other people that have brought their cars to the show that's going to be there as well in the parking lot, like the backfield and stuff like that. So there should be some pretty cool cars there. Now, idealistically, I would have brought the Mazda. I really don't, with it, as low as it is and the way the side skirts are and stuff like that, and add that meme here, the way that my suspension is set up. Because the way that my bank account is set up. Um, I just, I don't want to bring that down there and end up uh, bottoming out or something like that when I'm, you know, two and a half hours away from home type of thing. Luckily, the area that I moved to is really close to the main highways and stuff like that. So actually it should be a decent drop, maybe like two hours. I think I could probably shave off the 20 minutes, um, and get down there a lot sooner, which would be great because the sooner I get down there and the sooner I get in through those gates, the more uh, content I can cover in a shorter amount of time. So, I mean, it's a win-win for all of us, you the viewer and me the person that's trying to uh, get you all the views, all the uh, content and, um, you know, all that stuff. So, as I incoherently ramble because it's currently 5 o'clock in the morning, well, actually 5.30 in the morning now, so... Let's, uh, without further ado, let's get moving on this. Let's uh, have some fun and uh, let's see some uh, some drift cars. Let's see some skids. Uh, just an update, pulling out onto Route 9. Turn left. Took some of the back roads to get over here and uh, there's actually no, pretty much no traffic over here, which is great. So, with that being said, I'm hoping that the rest of the ride is going to be pretty smooth like this where I won't get involved with too much traffic and bottlenecking and all that stuff. Anytime I've been down, I've been to E-Town millions of times, countless times, and there's always this random ass bottlenecking that'll go on that you're sitting there for like ever and you get to the end of the traffic and there's no reason for it. There's nothing, nothing going on whatsoever. No cop, no accident, no animal in the road, no human in the road, nothing. So, beats the crap out of me as to why that happens, with the exception of, like I said, it's bottlenecking where you're taking, like, eight lanes and merging them into four, and then four lanes, merging them into two, and then two into one, and then back to, like, eight again, which is ridiculous, but, um, so to cap off that rant, we're going to be hopping on to line. 84. Thank you, then GPS. The next one. Turn right. As I was saying, we're going to be heading on to 84 now, so we got down here pretty At quickly. The line. Use the it's, right lane uh, to merge onto I-84 West Almost 7 o'clock. So, or almost 7 o'clock, the hell am I saying? It's almost 6 o'clock. So, making pretty good timing here. I'm thinking that I'll be getting there before uh, 9 o'clock, which is when the gates open. So, my best advice is to stay tuned. A lot of great action that we're going to be seeing today. Some awesome drift racing. Like I said, we're going to go see some skids, as they like to say. to introduce myself. Um, unfortunately, with the green uh, divider here, we're not going to be able to see too well this side. We can see this side. Which is a pretty nice area, in my opinion. It's, you know, like I've said before in other videos, Hudson Valley, I think it's just a very picturesque area of the state of New York, if you ask me. 
venture out and find all these different places and go to different uh, neighboring towns and small cities that are along the Hudson.
hopes and dreams for uh, less traffic and this, that, and the other thing because it was so early in the morning and it is basically null and void now at this point. But, I mean, it's still a nice ride. It's, you know, it, it was pretty smooth flowing. I, I've, I've had way worse going down to town before. I remember going down the group for a show called Waterfest, um, which is a uh, Volkswagen Audi. Uh, just Euro cars in general. Uh, car show that they would have there. They have drag racing on the strip and the strip was still a drag strip. Um, and I remember being in traffic trying to get into New Jersey and we, were, we went to Nyack at 287 and anybody that's driven on that, if you know, you know. Um, we sat for like a good 30 minutes in one spot, didn't even move. So, I mean, things could be way worse. At least we're moving here. Slow.
I'm not going to make a comment, but there are some interesting drivers in the state of New Jersey, but I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, great. More traffic. So, once I get onto Texas Road, I'll probably do another update and uh, keep you guys posted once I finally get to the venue. And as you can see, we are turned on to Texas Road now, which, like I said, it's just nothing but trees out of nowhere. Like, all the civilization just disappears as soon as you turn on to this. And then out of nowhere, you get this random four-way intersection where there's a Wawa, awesome gas station, slash supermarket, or mini Continue market. Continue on to Texas Road. Thank you, GPS, for constantly interrupting me. Um, yeah, no, uh, if you've never been to a Wawa before, they're friggin' awesome. And if you have been to one, then... <laughs> I don't need to tell you that, but yeah, Texas Road now, so off of here, then there's like one other road that we're turning on to, and then literally it's Raceway Park right there, and that's the name of the place, that's English Town, New Jersey's Raceway Park, which is kind of cool, it's a newer BRZ that just went by, hopefully I caught that in the shot. In 2.1 miles, turn left onto English Town Road. There's actually some random nice houses around here that just kind of pop up out of nowhere. I'm talking like Tony Soprano looking style houses. Um, and then again, there's like just nothing but trees and just this road for miles and stuff like that where it's like never ending. And yeah, it's it's interesting. Interesting area of the uh, state. But, and yes, I am shifting with my other hand since I'm holding the camera, don't judge me. Update number one million and something now. So we finally made it, or I finally made it rather, to Wawa, which is that little mini mart gas station thing that I was telling you about. It's a really awesome freaking place. I'm about to go grab some to eat real quick, hit up the bathroom, get something to drink, and then literally E Town Raceway Park right down the road. So we'll be in there shortly. Stay tuned. background but they're going already so we're gonna try and get in there and get as much footage as humanly possible but first I want to try and scope this lot here if you'll indulge me as you see my Volkswagen parked something that's really cool over here at least I think it's cool we didn't have any mistakes Got the Alteza stuff on it. 
besides the vendors and stuff like that, you get to see some of the actual drift cars, some of the professional formula drift cars and stuff like that. You uh, get to hear them, they start them up and stuff like that. You know, they're doing some things, maybe swapping out tires and stuff like that. So it's actually really cool, at least I think so. I mean, if you're really into cars and you're really into like drift racing and racing in general, anytime being in the pits is a fun experience, being able to get that exposure. So I'm trying to bring that to you as much as humanly possible to the best of my ability as I'm kind of walking down towards some of these other tents over here. It's like a uh, E36, no, sorry, E46 <laughs> uh, BMW they got going on over here. It looks like they could swap some tires on it now. Different wheels, but the wheels match. Crossing over. But you got to check out all these tires that are over here. It's like Tire Mountain. Check this out. Tire Mountain over here in the distance. Roped off, but we can get pretty close to it, so we're gonna go and swoop in for a closer look. 